Hello, and welcome back to the world of Arklands. <laughs> when we last left, our heroes in training, mm -hmm. they were able to fight and defeat a large number of zombies and subdue Oliver, the uh, necromancer bard who had summoned them in the first place. After some very good uh, persuasion. persuasion checks and just points made, they were able to talk him down from his course of action. And Elle decided to take out a small loan of 500 gold. <laughs> <laughs> which he then gifted freely. It seems to like Oliver. such a small amount compared to what he took out in Einar's name. That's very true. It's because it is. <laughs> but I want you to consider how much money you can make in this circumstance. Or rather, how much you can't. Yeah. <laughs> and how long Elle's going to be paying that off. Um, He's not Cass's. No, Elle is. He didn't take Correct. it out in Cass's name? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> after being led through the forest to retrieve Oliver's daughter, Liliana, or Lily for short, uh, they came face to face with a pale beast, a creature lent to Oliver, seemingly for free, by a necromancer that is only known as Death. Despite commanding the bear to stand down, uh, it did not. And as the group prepared themselves, combat initiative was rolled. And that's where we return for tonight's episode of Mize Academy. Alrighty. We have Oliver on our team now. We're gonna fight with him, and we have Grave. Don't, don't Grave's sense. not gonna fight. Not until he's explicitly asked to. The bear rolled a natural twenty. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's right. Oliver is standing up front the most. Yes, he is. And so it's gonna charge for him. Uh oh. First attack. A natural one. <laughs> does he get opportunity or does it No, mean no, don't, no, no, not, no, not opportunity. To, it has two attacks on its turn. Mm -hmm. It's going to miss its second attack. Well, the natural 20, so it has yeah. another two attacks. Second so. action. If you roll another natural one, I'm going to be so happy. That is a five plus 10. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, is it like plus 13? Ten's pretty close. Um, fifteen though. Uh, fifteen hits. Oh, uh, it does hit. He's a bard. He's like yo. You have no AC. I I'm he's, higher than ten. So, uh, first is the claw attack. Oh jeez. So it's got to roll in. The thing has to roll a natural one to miss you. Correct. Hmm. Oof. It's eleven oof. slash That's damage. That's a big oof. Oof. And uh, seven up, necrotic damage. Oliver is bloodied, with the claw just... Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's do How's the Lily feeling about that? I think Ari and Ella are trying to block her from... I'm holding her hands. Mm. Yep. I'm turn the music a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Second attack. Well, fourth attack, technically. Yeah. 22 to hit. <gasps> 15 slashing damage. And... 12 necrotic damage. Oh, All of us down. Oh my god. <laughs> By a... not insignificant margin. As the bear charges and slams down with one claw. Oliver ro ducks and rolls out of the way. Then it just pins him down with the other claw as he just cries out and <laughs> He's not dead, but he is bleeding out. Can you close that? Sorry. He's two yes. levels above us! 
I know! But he is a bard. He doesn't have a lot of health. Neither do I! Alright, Eric, you're up. <laughs> do you have a health potion? No, I use mine. I do. I do. L, get Liliana out of here. She shouldn't have to see this. And Ari is going to run up to Oliver. Okay. And pour her health potion in his mouth. Okay, that is an action. Um, and then... And then it's 2d4 plus 2? Mm-hmm. Would you like to roll it? Uh, no, you go ahead and roll okay. it. Okay, that is eight points of healing to him. All right. And I'm going to stand over him. Okay. And spend a key point to take the dodge action. Okay, patient defense, got it. Patient defense. Caspian, you're up. Cass is going to reiterate what uh, Aries said. Oh, fly up. Take the girl with you. And, uh... Like you can only do it once? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, if he does get knocked down, that makes him make it Cass will throw the spear. At throw it? Mm hmm. It's right in front of you. Wait, how, oh, is it like. It's, it's, it's within up five on feet? Us. Oh, it's yeah. A, okay. It's bearing it, up on us. It ran, it ran up and attacked Oliver, who was standing right in front of you. Okay, okay. Uh, I thought he went a little bit farther than that. I mean, it might be like 10 feet away, but you can move five feet and attack it. Well, Cass isn't gonna move five feet toward it. <laughs> okay. I would say, for, for ease of everything, you can hit it. Okay, yeah. okay. Then he will attack. Okay. Uh, 21? 21 hits. Cool. Cass knows there's a healer there. He will do as much damage as he can. Okay. Last slot. Got it. Find smite. So that is... Roll the radiant and slashing damage separately. Yeah. Um, slashing is... Nice. Max damage, 12. Nice. 12. Halved to 6. Oof. Sucks. Even though it's a magic um, weapon? Yep. It, well, it's... it's also, not like a magic plus one. Mm-hmm. It's it's magic. It is still magic. It, oh, okay. it is still magical. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> um, and, and yet, and yet it still has resistance. And that's that. Do I still roll the third? Yes. D- okay. Ooh. Well, is it three? It's a level one slot, right? Yeah. So it's two. Oh, right. Plus yes. the, the it one is an undead two. creature. So. So that was that was an eight. So twelve radiant. Twelve radiant. Okay. Takes all of that. And I have no more response All right. Crow. She's going to rush in and hit it. Okay. Uh, trying to place herself between Oliver. Yeah, easy. And, yeah. Great. Uh, do you want to... Well, what would Crow do? Because um, you, you, you can fly. You can fly. You can easily sure. flank with someone if you want to. It's true. Like... But what would Crow do? Realistically, in my head, it's just going up and hitting it okay. because, like... Not exactly thinking strategically at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, totally oh, makes sense. Shoot, I forgot. I have a bonus action to attack. Add on another uh, eight damage. Half eight to slashing. To half to four. Got it. <laughs> okay. Fourteen so, to hit. Fourteen to hit. If it meets, it beats. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Very high that's not too bad. Okay. That's, that's good to know. It's just, it's just a mess of mycelium and bones. Yeah. It's not. It doesn't have high armor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's it's much stronger than we are. Yes, it is. <laughs> so in my mind, it's like thirteen damage, damage halved to six. Because that is. Don't your wings do force damage? No. Or what damage do they do? Don't they do slashing? We- never really decided that. What is I think it? What you is said slashing. Okay. It, while she was an artificer, she dealt force. Yes, because that was an aspect that. of the subclass. Yeah. But these are just a magic weapon that does yep. either slashing or bludgeoning. Mm-hmm. Either way, it's halved. Yep. However, you do notice <sighs> like, as you are with two big hits on it, even with the resistance, it looks hurt. Okay. 
Oh. Uh, Natural I will, one. Yep. That means I only get an action or bonus yes. action. Uh, I'm going to pick up Lily. Yeah. She is kind of looking at Oliver at the moment. He's okay. My friend went to him. He's okay. He'll be okay. Make a persuasion check. Hmm. That is a 16. 16. She's not freaking out at the moment. I'm going to go over and uh, stand by Grave. Yep. He is standing back. You see him. He's looking a bit... Tense? A bit tense, but not, like, extremely worried. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pale Bear's turn. As you see some of the mycelium knitting itself back together. Oh, of course mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I'm going to heal itself. All right. Does it no longer look bloodied? It does not. Ah. <laughs> and it's going to go for Caspian. Yeah. As you hit it the most. Yep. Yeah. Come on. 15. Ah, oh, misses. That's with claws and with the bite. 27. No. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> that is uh, 11 piercing damage. Okay. And uh, 11 necrotic damage. Oof. <laughs> As you feel its teeth pierce through your breastplate oh. and just feel this kind of poison as, as your flesh where the teeth make contact begins decaying. Mm. Oliver's turn. Um, so he is up at eight hit points, thanks to that healing potion. And he is going to use a, <sighs> come on now, can't hurt that much. And inspire you. <laughs> yeah. Just like grinding through the pain. Yes, you can! So, you can add a d8 to a roll of your choice. Okay. Um, and for his. Just bear with it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I hate you. Um, Love your old day. Cass took three points of psychic damage. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He is going to stand up and, uh, uh, yeah, you should be within reach. With his action, he's going to cast a second level cure wounds. Oh, bless! <laughs> For uh, nine. Still, that gets me above bloodied. Yep. All right. He has plenty of spell slots. Well, yes, he, he has spell slots. He's more than me. Yes, <laughs> Harry. All right. Um. Crack! Uh huh. If you want to whack, now is the time to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to stack. Whack and stack. Can. You could easily maneuver into position to get flanking advantage, too. Yeah. Okay. I'll get advantage, and I'm going to stack uh, All my three? three attacks. Okay. Eighteen. Hits. Nice. All right. The damage from all three attacks. So that's fifteen. You spend a key point. Yes. Yep. So fifteen plus two d four plus one d eight. Yeah. Nice. Shit balls. Uh. Six, seven, so 15 plus seven so 22. is 22 points of damage. Half to 11. Mm. Still, still a big hit, and you spent a key point, and that is technically... And that is Flurry of Blows, so yep. I get extract aspects. Okay, so you get resistances, immunities, vulnerabilities, and condition immunities. Correct. Resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing, and poison. Immune to blinded, deafened, frightened, and poisoned. Okay. And that's it. Caspian. Well, is Cas still in like the mouth of the beast? Or? I mean, it, it released after okay. after that. Uh, he's gonna stab at it again. Yep. There's no. In one. sort of a panic. Kind of time. 
<laughs> yep. It's time to pan it. And that's gonna cost him to be able to hit it. That's an 11. No, you have an inspiration die. Are you flying? Oh, that's right. I have. Oh, part of my inspiration. Yeah, I have part of your inspiration, so I can use that. Yeah. Um, it would be easier. If I. Because I was standing on top of Oliver, so I probably would have flanked with Cass. Yeah, yeah. It would make sense with. Regardless, you have a you have a bardic inspiration. Yeah, which is a uh, eight. That's the eight. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask. Because he's a fifth of the ward. Nice. 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 That would be wonderful. Nice. nice. Plus six. That's seventeen to hit. Hits. Let's yeah. go. There we go. All right. Cool. So that is ten slashing. Okay. Bonus action. Half to five. Attack mm-hmm. again. Ugh. That's probably fitting, though. Did you not one? I did. <sighs> Nat one on my bonus it's gonna attack. Make an opportunity. Uh, Can I take the opportunity? Opportunity attack. What was it? Inspiration. Inspiration. Okay. Oh, thanks. Crow is I'm so glad. Right next to him. Nat twenty. Let's <laughs> go. Oh, oh I'm so it's glad. So unfortunate that, that this is, is an automatic hit. Yep. However. Any critical hit against a pale, pale bear counts as a normal hit unless it is incapacitated. Okay, okay. <laughs> but it is still a guaranteed hit. That's okay. Don't. I mean, it, it, it was my much. weakest hit that I could possibly yeah. do. But it's up. So glad I have that. Oh, still not much better. Uh, six damage. Half six, to three. Half to three. All right. Hey, it is back to looking damaged. <laughs> yeah, and then it's going to heal. <laughs> yep. Crow. Hitting it. You know, you have spell slots. Do they're not really helpful here? Do you have fire. Would fire do something? It's not. Know. It's not resistant to fire. It's not vulnerable to it either, though. Yeah. Um. Mm. Fire bolts a ranged attack, though, so it'd be. A I was thinking advantage. more magic missile. That's true. What does that heal? What damage? Force, force damage. Magical force. Okay, that's fair. Could do sure. a maximum of fifteen force damage. Yep. Minimum of. Cool. We're casting six. That. But still, based on this force versus, damage, it'll take it. Versus a single hit, yeah. So technically speaking, you just roll one d four. Yep. That's I associate the shape. That's wow. Did you not roll a d four for each missile? Yeah. Per the rules as written, you roll one, and that applies to all of them. Yep. So mm. that's me four each. Four Ooh. each. So three. Okay. So yeah, that's twelve force Jeez. damage. Yep. Okay. So how how does Crow do this? Uh, that is flavored with her pistol. She whips it out, pop, 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 three times in yep. his face. Yeah, nice. As you see these like just glimmering, and they just pierce straight through it. Nice. So that's twelve damage. Yep. <laughs> All right, L. Grave, hold her, and heal hands. Lily to grave. Make a persuasion check. That is a 13. 13? Okay. So she'll let you. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, am I able to get in front of the bear? Directly, directly in front of it? Yeah. Yeah. Currently, directly in front of it. Cass is directly in front of it. Crow is it's right It's a large creature. It's more than one person can be directly in cool. front of it. Cool. I'm going to be directly okay. in front of it. I need it to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to stack this. Okay. What are you stacking? Uh, breath weapon. Oh! Ooh. Is that gonna go all the way through to Aerie? Because she's on the opposite side of us. Uh, oh. it's, it's 15 That's feet. That's fine. That's about okay. on that one. 15 and, feet. Um, and he can point it, like, upwards. Yeah. That's fine. Babe, for flavor. Yeah. Please. <laughs> right into his face. <laughs> Please roll that one. That is a 13 flat. <sighs> it meets it beats. Oh. But that's okay. Because it, it takes half damage. Yep. Can Oliver use his thingy? That he did to Aerie? Cutting words? His cutting words? He absolutely can. (laughs) I mean, he he can subtract one. It doesn't matter. That'll do it. Yeah, he subtracts five, which makes that an eight. All right, he Uh, fails. (laughs) Beautiful. So he said, come on, please don't. Please don't mess me up here. All right, I'll take that. That is 14 radiant damage. 14 radiant damage. Nice. Yep. Okay. How do you want to do this? Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> yes! He basically. I have an idea. <coughs> what do you What do you have in mind? So it it looks at with Crow just previously taking her pistol and firing three bolts of light 
straight through as the force damage just tears through the mycelium around the skeleton. It just kind of rears up on its hind legs and is getting ready to smack at her. I'm curious. Yeah, that would have been a 19 on the die Ooh. to hit next time. And, and then a 23. Mm. So both attacks would have hit. Um, but as it rears up, you just run up to it, kind of gently push Oliver and Caspian out of the way, and just a torrent of light th- straight through its chest. You burn away the mycelium, revealing a pale heart in its chest that you then, as you just re-up, because you've stacked multiple charges of it to do damage, and you then burn away the beating heart inside of it. It collapses onto the ground. Good job, guys. At at this point, like, everyone in the party is just like... That is the first bit of damage Elle has done this campaign. Yep. yep. <laughs> See, take an inspiration for that. Let's go! I think that's... Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Wonderful. <laughs> Beautiful. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah. Oliver kind of just... <sighs> okay. Yeah. With the with the the small child in his arms, <laughs> I told you you might not need me. Moral <sighs> support. <laughs> she says that under her breath. I guess we didn't. This uh, thing we gained, we generated some before. Does it seem to be doing so again? You wait for a moment, watching. Nothing appears to be happening. In fact, you see more and more of the mycelium dropping from the bones as there's no longer any magical bonds holding it together. All right. I think it's dead. No, we can be safe. Castle cast but thank his you. divine sense it. to be sure. Only one undead pings. <laughs> cool. Cass will probably never feel so safe yeah. <laughs> having just one undead ping. <laughs> always. That's like playing a game wow. and you always see an enemy marker on your bar. Mm-hmm. It's like, where is it? Uh, at this point, it'll, like, Cass will end up being somewhere and Crow's not there and he does it and he's like, there's no ping. Why is there no ping? This Crow. doesn't feel right. <laughs> <sighs> Emotional support ping. Emotional support. So long as you get that ping, you know Crow's not in trouble away from you. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Every once in a while, Cass is like, I wonder if Crow is in a room. Ding! Doesn't, okay, good. It, doesn't, it doesn't work behind full cover. Uh, That's true. That's true. Hold on. Okay. Now, I think we're done. And Lily just wriggles out of Graves' arms. He kind of just... (laughs) She does. And just runs up and hugs Oliver. (sighs) Thank you. Not only did you... You see him kind of just like choking back a little bit. Not only did you not... There's a lot you could have done. And I would never have expected saving my life as one of them. The point of being a hero is to save lives. Lily kind of, after burying her head in Oliver's shirt and jacket, kind of just turns to the four of you and just goes, thank you. And runs up and gives uh, L a, a hug, just like around one leg, briefly. <laughs> He'll ruffle her hair before yeah. running back to her dad. Yeah. Uh, well, um, 
I think you could use a new house. I somehow think that might be taken care of. Thank you all. Grave then. You know you can say you're welcome. In the silence. Just, (laughs) well, I believe I would call that a mission complete. Oh, good. I want to go take a long nap. You didn't want to eat dinner first? No. It's not even noon. <laughs> Y'all it's four in the morning. <laughs> we did. Mm. Yeah, it's it's like maybe getting to be noon. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything that you would like to wrap up here in town, or are you ready to return to the school? Um We should uh Bury the bodies. And, uh... Grave just... Good. That I will happily assist with. If it's all right... Could I... just spend some time here in the woods? Of course. Inside check. Nope. L is laying on the floor. Twenty. Oh! Oh! You can whisper to Kiara if you want. Oh! I mean, she grew up kind of in a mountainous desert area. Mm. It's been a while since she's been around trees, and doesn't. It's not in like a sad way, but more in just like a nostalgia. I, I want to spend time outside. In mm. Come this to think moment. of it. Has Carl even been in a forest before? She grew up in Vala. She went north and south from the, desert there, to desert. There have been like gardens in cities that have mm. trees. You've never been in a proper forest to know. Yeah. Fair enough. That's fine. Come on. You're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Come back to the ship when you're ready. Do we want to do a little camp out tonight? Here? Not right here, but we can go somewhere else in the forest. I think that would be... Well... It would be relaxing. I can confirm there was only one that was sent. That's bearable. (laughs) Respect. Tries to keep her composure. It's not great. L like so sits up <laughs> and then lays back down. Like, <laughs> he very much wanted to hit her, but he refrained. Camp out would Violence be nice. is not the answer. <laughs> Spend some time outside. It's been a while. I think the fresh air would be good for all of us. I think it would be fun. There's a lot of bugs. You'll live. <laughs> well, let's get to it. Cass will, when they get back to the uh, town, he will go to the temple to kind of let them know what happened, yep. you know, give them closure, and help um, them rebury. Grave actually accelerates the process by quite a bit. Um, oh, good. Because he has um, Move Earth. Mm. Or Mold Earth, it's whichever the cantrip one is. Yep, Mold Earth. <laughs> um, and, yeah. Uh, he's able to just kind of, over the course of a few minutes, get a few graves dug. Um, and as much as possible, I think you do return the bodies to the graves that they were dug out of. Mm-hmm. And as you're doing so, you do see that Oliver was uh, telling the truth before. All of the graves that had been disturbed um, were time worn to a degree where you couldn't even read the names. There's there's a, a, a headstone that, uh, right there, and, but nothing discernible written on it. Mm. 
Um, but uh, Oliver does help. He carries some of the bodies and... Um, like, th you don't have to do a lot of digging, but he's, he's there assisting the entire time. And he also goes and apologizes to the woman that runs the temple. Mm. Um, kind of explains the situation and she kind of just nods and Good. accepts his help. Uh, he gives like 50 gold of the uh, there you go. of the 500 to Dang, that's 10%. Cast by the way, <laughs> Cast by the way would ensure that he returns what was stolen from the merchants that came into town, if they're still there. They are. Okay. Uh, Where yeah. does he keep it? Uh, it was in the. In the so cabin. Yeah, he, the he would have grabbed it before. Yeah. yeah. Um, what of the bodies at the bottom of the pond? He, well, he made he them walk, walk right, right. Back. That part. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Were there any magical items amongst the things in the uh, hut there? Okay, just checking. Yeah. You wouldn't be allowed to take them. I know. Does Crow <laughs> I just wanted to know. Go back to the inn. Um, or most likely, she would not be around for the reburying. Okay. All right. She would specifically ask Grave. Yep. And he said that she did not need to. So. Mm -hmm. it, Elle's hanging out with Ari so that she's not by herself. Mm. So it's just Caspian, Oliver, and Grave doing the grave mm. digging. Yep. Mm. Yep. Cool. Uh, Oliver decides to stay at the temple for a bit and just spend some time with Lily. Maybe repent. <laughs> 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 um, but, uh, and so it is just uh, Crow, Caspian, and Grave back at the tavern as they wait for Ari and Elle to return. Mm -hmm. So, your first mission. It was an experience, <laughs> to say the least. There will be more. Almost certainly. Yeah. I think I need to get tougher on her. You see, he kind of like looks down at his armor that has holes in it. Thankfully, we have a wide variety of facilities at the academy to be able to touch that up without issue. It's not so much about the touching up as it is making sure that it doesn't fail when I need it not to. Well, considering the size of the holes, I would say that it did it quite... it did its job. It didn't feel like it. Well, that was one of the only attacks that made it through. How many more did it stop? One. And also against the zombies? Well, the zombies hit a lot. Softer. Or you didn't feel it because of the armor. None of the zombies made a dent in the armor. Exactly. It's actually rather tough. Steel tends to be that way. <clears throat> There's harder metals out there. While that is true, I do believe that is more indicative of how strong that beast was. You're really good at complaining, aren't you? <clears throat> I see a place for improvement, and I would like to improve upon it before I die. <clears throat> that was my first near-death experience, so I would Love prefer you. if I You were not quite have... close to a lot of dead, yes. Yes. Crow flips him off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, picked up a habit. <laughs> oh, God. I love that more and more puns have just been loaded <laughs> on this specific <laughs> setting. Why did I make oh, just it wait for Ari hates puns? <laughs> oh, just wait for L. She got a very bad experience up front. <laughs> I mean, she just, she... Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> It makes sense. Why is it? Why is it funny? It's a literal thing. <laughs> I feel like she would hate the ones that 
like you you specifically like make a pun of the words where it's not the exact word. Yeah. You like push the sound of it, the phonetics so, to make a different word relevant to the thing. I think those would be the worst for so, her. So like yeah. eclipse it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the first one said. <laughs> the first one said. Yeah. The worst. <laughs> the best. Say an hour passes. Yeah. After about an hour, Aerie kind of looks over at Elle as they're just walking around. We're walking around? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're walking around. They weren't just sitting there. Aerie said she wanted to go walk around the woods. Fair enough. I thought. Never mind. No. <laughs> That's what Elle thought, too. Yeah. And here yeah. he is having to walk around the woods when he wanted it to happen. He's very close to falling asleep. <laughs> like, very Looking close like to falling asleep. Looking like I appreciate your company, but I'll be all right. I'm not leaving you in the go, forest alone. Go back and take a nap. You're going to have to roll persuasion. It's going to have to be very high. <laughs> Nat 20. Maybe Aerie just wants to be alone for a minute. That's yeah, that's what I, I called it! <laughs> Minus one, so it's a 19. <laughs> still a natural but 20. Natural it is 20. still a natural 20. <clears throat> okay. I think it's safe. If I'm not back in an hour... Then I'll then come and get you. And I also still have the flare. Yes, you do. Okay. I'll be fine. Alright. I'll head back then. Enjoy your time in the woods. Don't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> Al comes and sits at the table with um, Grave, Cass, and Crow. Yep. After a bit. I feel way better about how it ended now. <laughs> I think all of you are stronger than you lead yourselves to believe. Yes, we're, we have a strength to us. Um, I'll agree. I certainly didn't expect to be able to beat that creature. Mm, neither did I, to be honest. But it's this mission has shown where we're weak, but it's also shown where we're strong. An important thing to keep in mind is that on your own, you certainly wouldn't have been able to. Because you all worked in tandem. Al looks at Cass. You gave it more than it could bear. Yeah. I didn't even intend that one, it just happened. <laughs> now I know why people drink. <laughs> you know what? I do believe that you've earned it. Around over here, please. He does get a. Isn't it, like, 1, 1 p.m.? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're done! <laughs> Elle's, like, nodding. Our day's done. <laughs> Do they have coffee? I doubt it. Are but... you sure you wouldn't rather just sleep? I want to stay here for a while. I can sleep later. We'll make some coffee when we get back. Oh, that'd be great. Well, um... We definitely have some things uh, to iron out, <laughs> for sure. But this was your first mission. Yeah. I would say this went better than most. I guess we'll earn that, then. We did succeed. We I did we, what we came here I, to do. I think we did more than succeed. We, we saved the man and his, his little girl. I can be proud of that. You doing okay? What? You doing okay? We're having a conversation. Yeah, I know. This is part of the conversation. Checking in on my teammate. We did good. That we did. Did very good. <laughs> She's so confused and bothered. <laughs> it's just L recognizing his teammates. That's all. <laughs> A little bit more time passes. 
enough for Aria to. Are there any um, forget me nots or small um, flowers that Aria's able to make a survival check? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Not only are you able to find some forget-me-nots, some other small flowers, you also find a really, really nice rock. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like it's, it's, it's been like smoothed over by the water, um, and it just it's like perfect. A kind of like dark purple. Mm. It's like really smooth to the touch. Yeah. Ari's gonna take that and kind of just hold it for a bit, and there, if she finds a stream, she just kind of sits and like puts her feet in for a bit, and she starts trying to remember how to make flower crowns. Mm-hmm. Um, and she kind of puts together. I would like uh, you to make me a wisdom save. Wisdom save? Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah, there's a... A brief memory from when you were really young. Sitting in a forest, making a flower crown. It's nice. Mm-hmm. She just takes a minute, makes um, one that would fit uh, Liliana. Nice. Um, and kind of just takes some time to meditate and breathe and just be alone after everything that happened. And then after about you know 45 minutes or so, she heads back to the inn. And so you're all gathered there. Well, is there anything else? Or are you ready to go? Are we going to camp out in the woods? Or would you all rather just head back to the school? I mean, camping out in the woods sounds somewhat unpleasant to me. Really? You don't think camping sounds like fun? Oh wait, Where's no, the of course soft you don't. Bed and you know the roof over my head. That's the be- That's the best part. Is you have to live in nature for a night. Yes. You get to experience the sounds, the smells, all of it. The bugs. The stu- Shut up. The stars overhead that you get for to look once. I think I agree with Crow. Killjoy. So it sounds like back to the academy it is. For these two horses, yes, I guess. I know. We have to go too. There will be plenty more opportunities. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but if Cass can complain, I can too. Ah, oh, valid. <laughs> so, pack up your things. Let's move out. Um, are Oliver and Liliana around the inn still? Or? Uh, they're at the um, temple. Temple? Elle's going to go upstairs, and I think press the digitation works like this. Uh, I want to press the digitate. I guess because c- it cleans things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I want to get rid of the something circle. Uh, I was about to say, Bro is going to go up and take a sample of the stuff, of the, the mycelium left over. Yeah. Um. The, here's the thing. The, so you can get rid of the um, the circle itself. Yeah. But the mycelium. Yeah, it's gonna stay. Still That's there. totally fine. <laughs> I do not like the occult. Go away. It's less occult, more just arcane sigil. Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> Ari goes over to the uh, the temple, and finds Oliver and Liliana. Just kind of holds the little flower crown. I I made this for you. She puts it on and it's just... She's got little forget-me-nots and little white and purple flowers in there. Turns to Oliver and just goes, I'm a princess. (laughs) So I found some pink forget-me-nots. Thank you. 
pleasure to meet both of you. Hope you take care of yourselves and perhaps we will see each other again some other point if we come Under out here. better circumstances, for sure. Yes. Thank you, again. Of course. Thank you. Um. I don't know... If you're ever in or traveling near uh, Boshire, Boshire, mm -hmm. look for the library, Sewell Concord. It's a organization that I'm a part of. I see. I Great. didn't have many plans to travel, but I will keep that in mind. Good place for education. Of any kind you could want. Thank you. And she will leave. All right. Is there anything that the rest of you do? I have a question that's not related to what's going on right now. All right. Does Einar still have a Mars crown? No. Dang it. Because Ray had it. Yeah. Oh, Ray has it. Yeah. Had it. Just, it. Yeah. Dang it. Whatever. We already talked about what happened to it. I forgot. It's okay. I wanted to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, actually, you know, I'm, I'm happy to say this. Uh, Ray uh, gave it back. Dang it. And in exchange, that is how the school became aware of oh. the soul techniques. Oh, oh that's cool. <laughs> nice. We we talked about this. I totally forgot about that. Look at yeah. that. Einar's betrayal <laughs> turned into something <laughs> 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 Betrayal. Oh, uh, you know, he kind of did betray Amar a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of why Einar Sorry. doesn't want to talk to him anymore. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> you probably um, can't with him now. No. Oh, okay. Titans have are powerful, but have a very specific domain. Einar could maybe bloody him. <clears throat> maybe. Like, in his domain. Einar could reasonably I, throw hands with a god. If he, Amar anyway, decided to come to He could throw hands, the, but he would always lose. If Amar decided to come to the Shadowfell for some reason, possible. Outside of that, mm -hmm. mm, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, as you all wrap up, and... Uh, <laughs> grave essentially. Beep, beep. <laughs> but Unlocks with, the boat. Well, I makes it up here. Yep. Because it was sitting in the ethereal plane. Mm -hmm. Where to park it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Roll mm -hmm. board and kind of raises into the air, enters the ethereal plane, and in less than a second, you are back at this back at the school. Nice. How many days were we there? Two. Yeah. Or three. You were... We spent one night there. We spent one night. That's true. We were there two days. We finished our mission in, in less like, than a week. Like 36 hours. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Cool. We're this, guys. That was, <laughs> that, what was the time frame? One to two weeks. Yep. That was... Yeah. Wow. Hold on. You honestly might be back before some other teams have even left. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone up, left immediately. <laughs> we get back... You know, we're all bloodied, Cass's armor is in tatters. Aerie's fine, I don't know what you're okay, talking yeah, about. Okay, yeah, Aerie's fine. Hell looks fine. He's I'm just fine really too. tired. Yeah. And everyone's like, what the freak happened to them? Oh, <laughs> well, we already did our mission. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Some, someone's just like, oh, it went that badly, huh? I mean, we... Assuming you failed and had to come back. <laughs> I mean, we already completed I mean, it. Yeah, so. I mean, we almost died, but, uh, you know. We didn't want I think we Learn to dig mm -hmm. ahead. Crow says as she passes by. I, I think I took the most hits of everyone here. That is true, yes. Then, uh, although that pale bear was pretty, uh... Oof, I'm glad it's dead. <sighs> My ribs still hurt. Um, Crow. Mm-hmm. As you all kind of unwind and decompress for the afternoon, 
I would like you to make just a flat intelligence check. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Twelve. Twelve? Okay, make one more. Ten. Ten. Okay. So twenty-two combined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're trying to give me info and it's not working. Uh, no, no I, you actually did pass. Oh. Um, various things. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> DM stoof. As you're kind of settling in for the evening and just thinking about everything that happened, you remember the dream you had. Mm-hmm. And you remember the figure riding the horse. Mm-hmm. And you didn't notice at the time. It was a dream. You had no reason to. Mm-hmm. But the the horse that that figure was riding was pale white with what you assumed was flesh seeming to be stretched over a skeleton. Mm -hmm. And you make a direct connection to the pale bear as this figure rode on a pale steed. That sounds familiar. Because it does. What did he call himself? Death. Death. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Did you tell us about the dream? No. No. Yeah. Uh, that evening, though, Crow is going to try to do some investigation on the mycelium that she sampled. Okay. Just arcana or okay, yeah. um, investigation. I'll allow either. Okay. What, what, is the, what is the nature of what the information you're trying to get? Um, she's oh, trying to understand, first of all, like, yeah, I've seen that before. It's almost like I drew it, like, I, a I, year ago. I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> oh boy, I, I was hoping we'd be done with this creep, but we're not. Oh, no, I don't know. I, I kind of like that. That there's more to this. Put his name in my notes. <laughs> yeah. Um. I need to make light weapons. <laughs> you you do need some weapons, my dude. For oh, the one who on. smiths them, repairs them, you don't carry them or something. No. That Anyways, <laughs> um. Along the lines of if, if it's a unique <laughs> material um, okay. that has been used, um, if there's any kind of like unique magical property to it, a signature that makes it unique. Okay. Yeah, I would say make an arcana check. Okay. Why am I not rolling great all of a sudden? Uh, 14. 14. Wait, I have bardic die. I can add that. Technically, it only lasts for, I think, like 10, 10 minutes. minutes. Oh, okay. But you could ask for help. No. I'm going to talk to people about it. So, total of 14? Mm. Unless someone happens to done. walk into a room while she's working on that. Let's roll a D100 and see if Elle goes <laughs> yeah. and bothers her. Yeah. Sure, roll well, D100. Go for it. Anyone can. 80 above. Where's my other... 92. 92. 84! <laughs> Everyone collectively decides to bark. <laughs> Why not? Let's see. I don't think Cass would. But just in case. No. no. Okay. But mm-hmm. Ellen Airy do. <laughs> I don't think she would have thought to lock her door. You remember how disturbed she looked that morning inside? Might be worth checking up. Yeah. Mm. She kind of went into her room and just shut the door behind her when you arrived. Okay. And so... There he goes to knock, and I imagine Elle just opens the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what happens. And you can just go... <laughs> as you're trying to look at it. Sorry, you ever heard of knocking? No. What are you doing? 
uh, you would see in front of her um, a bunch of, like, a thieves toolkit with a bunch of tools kind of spread out, and there is a good-sized piece of the mycelium on her desk, and she's kind of, like, dissecting it, um, and she's looking up. I was investigating the stuff. Oh, with the... It doesn't taste good. Pale bear was made out of. Yeah. I don't want to... Mm. Uh, anyway, why? I mean... Why not? We can learn something from that it, was maybe. Question. But... Um, I'm not really finding a lot. Like, I, I can't tell mm. if it's a special or magical kind of material or anything. Hmm. Would you mm. mind if I took a look? I don't know what you're gonna do. She mm. kind of scoots aside. All right. Can I, uh, this is Arcana? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you want to help or do your own check? I'll give you help. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you get help. Nice. Natural 20. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go. Yeah. Teamwork. Well done. Plus, Arcana is a? 25. 25. Okay. It's interesting. You take a look at this, and you are kind of pulling it apart, and you're kind of using some magic to reverse engineer it. Mm-hmm. Kind of take taking what you remember of the con of the conjuration mm-hmm. magic, uh, which you are now able to with really, with all this. Mm-hmm. You remember that the original purpose of the circle was evocation. Given, and with a 25, Mm -hmm. given what he said, the spell sending is evocation. Interesting. So, the first purpose of it was communication. Then, he summoned the creature. And this wasn't a... Summoning spells do typically um, draw something from another place. Uh, But this was more of a... This would be less like conjure elemental and more like gate. Mm -hmm. Where it's transporting something on the same plane of existence. Okay. Death mail. Got it. Huh? Death mail. Understood. I mean, (laughs) I guess. (laughs) Um, Here's your dead thing. Yeah, basically. Was it express delivery? (laughs) Instantaneous. Um... (laughs) It's not arcane magic. Hmm. Would not have been a uh, warlock, bard, wizard, anything like that. Nor is it divine magic. Wasn't from the power of some deity. You actually are able to, with a 25, and it being a natural 20, uh, identify this as a form of nature magic. Druids. Druid. A druid. Circle of spores. Oh. It was a circle with spores. Yeah, circle of spores. They do mushroom magic. Mushroom. Mushroom magic. Mushroom magic. <laughs> <laughs> Decay existing it. as a form, as a part of the natural process of life, is something that the circle of spores exists to represent. Mm-hmm. Also, this it makes is sense that like Aerie would point that out to Crow mm. as her contribution. Does the fungus look is it alive, active, or is it just dead and dying? Um, it is mushroom, it is neither. It, yeah. Yeah. That, that is honestly the most accurate answer I can give. Mushrooms don't technically live and die the same way that plants or animals do. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. M- mushrooms this is not an exaggeration. Mushrooms are, in a way, living death. Yeah. Hmm. Am I a mushroom? Yes. <laughs> what kind of mushroom am I? <laughs> I'm gonna do something really silly. You're that little blue one from Chicken Mario. of the woods. There you go. But I think this is something L would try because it's L. Okay. Shocking. So you're saying that this thing is both alive and not. Neither would be a correct category for it. 
It's not that it's both, it's Mac that it's neither. On a tree. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they speak. Are you gonna try casting Speak with Dead? No, I'm gonna try casting uh, Psionic Mind with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You can send telepathic mes- messages to any creature you can see within uh, 30 feet. You don't Why don't you make to- a wisdom save? Uh-oh. I was about to... Okay. Uh, 15? That's a fail. No, 13. That's definitely a fail. Give me a moment. But it must be able to understand at least one language to comprehend messages. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Cass, Cass is like gonna be coming back from like getting his armor repaired. He's gonna be walking in, looking at it, and then y'all are gonna bust out a crow's door and be like, "We're not done." And look, he's gonna be like, look, "What?" Look, there are a lot of potential responses that I was expecting from Trey. Making a wisdom save for telepathically communicating with fungus was not one of them. He's gonna telepathically communicate with death. Oh, good. N- no. I was <laughs> strange time, D <D&D>. and <laughs> I was literally just about to talk about. From your perspective. L collapses. He's just looking at it and then goes thump straight to the floor. Damn, he was that tired. (laughs) (laughs) L. Congratulations, you have been cursed with weird dreams. Oh no. (laughs) Hey, I'm part of the club now. Hey, welcome to the club! You find yourself. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> in a desert. <laughs> Sand dunes stretching for as far as you can see. Mm-hmm. Not directly in front of you, but fairly close. From an audience perspective. Exactly as close as Crow was when she woke from her dream. Mm. You see a figure, cloaked figure, riding on a pale steed. As he turns to look at you. It's a very weird looking mushroom. And you see the bandages across their face, just covering every part of it. A lot of them ripped and torn and partially falling off, resembling in a way the the way that the mycelium clings to the skeletons of the pale beasts. Mm. But you're not able to make out much beneath it. Another fool. Well, that's rude. We just met. Kind of pulls the reins of the horse so that he and it are facing you. And it starts just slowly, deliberately walking towards you. How far away is he? impossible to tell you're in a dream. (laughs) That's fair. Do you have a name? Does L like step back a little at all? He he takes half a step back. Hang on. Hmm. Um, I don't know if he knows it's a dream or not. That's the thing. He does not. Okay. So yeah, he takes half a step back because it's a little off-putting. But he, you know... It's it's more of a I I don't know what's coming at me, mm-hmm. um, and I'm in no condition to fight. <laughs> yeah. You see beneath the bandages, if one of them is covering one of his eyes, the other one is just bright red and glowing. Mm. So no name. You can call me Death. And what do you want? You'll see. (laughs) 
<gasps> your eyes open. Crow is kicking his side to see if he's alive. Ow! Not partially, just poking with her boot. <laughs> oh, there he is. How long was he out for? Um. Make a con save. 14. 14? About half an hour. Mm. Can right. at least drag him back to his own bed. <laughs> we put him on Would the couch. Have? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say floor. we put him on. We put him on in the uh, yeah. Flop room. him over the main couch. Yeah. Gonna, uh, yeah, he's okay. a big he's dude. A big I think dude. it'd be difficult for yeah. both of us. I mean, but between the two of them, we're yeah, 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 between the two of them. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So yeah. easy enough. So he's yeah. like on the couch. You, you you're not like you're trying to carry him up. You have yeah. half an hour to move him, like oh, yeah. twenty feet. Yeah, you're fine. She's not gonna pick him up all the way. She'll grab him under the armpits and drag him. Ari holds the legs. Where's where's uh, Caspian? I think at the moment Cass would be out getting his armor repaired. It's so it's a matter of how long that takes before he Rolling comes back in. Rolling Rolling boy. <laughs> it's a nine. Nine plus your It's yes. taking you a minute. Yeah. So she she dumps L on uh, yeah. the couch and yeah. then probably sits on the other, uh, chilling with Aerie. Yeah. Um, Ari makes tea. I, uh, <laughs> so Elle wakes up with a gasp. <clears throat> <Yeah>. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, before that happens, during this time, Crow's going to tell Ari about the dream she had and how she's starting to go. make connections between the two. Got people. it. Hmm. So interesting. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was real or what, but it was nothing I've dreamt of before. So. Hmm. It was a pale beast. I don't know what it means. Have to there we go, that. he's awake. <laughs> ah. Hey. You alright? Oh. Nice you nap. just kind of passed out there. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay. Strange. I saw this bandaged man on a white horse. What? What? Uh, like I said, I saw a bandaged man on a white horse when I tried to... A pale beast. Yeah, well, it was a horse, but yes. Uh, I tried to talk to the fungus. can't believe I said that out loud, but I tried to. Um, I guess it worked. He said his, he said his name was Death. Same as who Oliver communicated with. Mm. Crow had the same dream. Yeah. You did? When I tasted the mycelium, I had, I guess, the same dream as you. I saw that guy on the horse. Why didn't he... you tell us? What's the point? Sharing information with your team is it very wasn't helpful. Wasn't necessarily relevant. You want me to tell me about every dream I have? No, just when you I eat strange mushroom strange. on the floor. Might be connected. Pay better attention. She did. You were in your own room. That did happen during yeah. their investigation. Yeah, in that was. Room. Oh, when you were there when well, Elle was, she was like. was investigating the circle, she ate a mm -hmm. piece of the mycelium. I do remember. Yeah. Yep. But the. Uh, Elle was room. tired. Elle was That's very right. off put. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember, Elle did not actually climb fully through the, uh, mm. the ladder. Peaking. He didn't come up all the yeah. way. Anyway. If you've had that dream after doing something with that, and then I've had the same thing, I wonder if I can go back. I wonder if I can talk to him at any no. point. We've already made him aware of our existence. I don't trust that. I don't trust him either. But if I can get information by doing that, and I'm not doing it now. And what if he can hurt you back? I might have someone I can talk to about it. Who? A friend. Okay. Um. You can tell her. She hasn't told you about him. Oh, I thought it was all of <laughs> No. Um, I... Is it um, not Olive? No. Um. Oh. Hmm. I'm friends with a Cory. 
Dream Spirit. Uh, history, nope. religion. Uh, Arcana. Arcana. Uh, you could also make a religion check. Seventeen. Seventeen. You're familiar with the concept. Okay. Dream spirits. Huh. It's a one. It's not a natural though. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Beautiful. <laughs> so. Uh, I I can ask him if. How another creature might infect a type of dream? I don't know. It, from what you two are saying, it sounds more like a vision. Mm. Doesn't than, feel like that. But not, not in the sense of like. He regarded my presence. Apparently you too. He spoke to me directly. Which is not usually how dreams work. Yeah. Obviously. So, I might be able to ask about it and see if there's a way I could discern the nature of what he's doing and how he's connecting. Do you sleep? Do you when I want to see my friend? Okay. But elves okay. typically meditate more than sleep. So it, it's... Anytime I do sleep, there's always a chance that I won't be able to connect with my friend and I'll instead typically have... Nightmares of some kind, um, and sometimes struggle waking up as well. Versus the meditative process is a very practiced thing hmm. that I'm able to do. Well, if you can talk to your buddy tonight, you get a little more info while it's fresh. Yeah, I'll do my best. Sometimes it's... When we first got to the school, I struggled a bit to connect with him but was able to eventually. Well, he might be able to give us more information than we can get on our own. Um, I wonder if the library would have any information. Which library? The one here. Okay. Oh, and um, I'd rather not mention anything about my friend, to outside the party. I mean, I think maybe Cass could know. Maybe Grave, but I'm not sure. Consequences. I literally don't care, so sure. (laughs) All right. Or as a very wise and entertaining man once put, your secret is safe with my indifference. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Fair enough. <coughs> um, but I, I'll try and talk with him tonight. Yeah, let us know. I did ask him what he wanted, and he said, we'll find out soon enough. But that was all. Mm, that is yeah, another round. Wait on his timing. I prefer not death. to wait for him. I'd like to, if we can, get the jump on him. But how we do that, I, I do not is. know. Well, he's in a desert. Great. Have you ever been to a desert? There yes. are two in this world. Uh-huh. You know how the big they are? Both. I grew up in one. Large. But, Me too. did I pick up any kind of reference for location whatsoever? Was it rolling dunes? It rolling, no landmarks. I will say, the the desert sand in Vala versus Eris is distinct. Mm-hmm. It Between the two of you, Definitely Vala. Okay. As yeah. opposed to Eris. Right. Eris has more of a red sand, um, which you can find in places where there's a lot more iron. Um, while Vala is more the the yellow. pale white and the yellow, um, what you typically think of when you think desert. Mm-hmm. Eris is a lot more like rocky mountains and um, 
the, the biggest inspiration is uh, Wadi Rum in Jordan. Which okay. Is, mm, uh, yeah. Which is also where they filmed The Martian because of how red it is. There you oh. go. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Okay, cool. I would like to go tell Grave about this. That seems wise. Would you like to come along? You do the talking just fine. Tell him what I found, you found. It's more so, do you want to go see him? Dun, dun. Was that the doorbell? That, yes. Okay. I would assume that's probably him. Okay, fine, he can join the conversation. She'll get up and go. Was he scrying on us while we were in a. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do that. Uh, Crow will let him. Nowhere is safe. He's like the government. Always watching. And He's got pigeons! Him. <laughs> Did you oh, get all good. that so I don't have to repeat it all? Get all of what? <sighs> Where are you needed when you're. Whatever. Can um, we talk? Death. Okay, he was not yeah. scrying on us then. I'm certain this will be a very interesting conversation. However, um... The headmaster would like to speak to you. <laughs> All of us? We only got a 30 minute nap, and it wasn't even restful. It won't be very long. Uh, but yes, all of you. The mission. Gas isn't here. I'm going to go get him next. Okay. Where, where is he meeting us? Uh, his office. It's in the main building. Okay. Right, I will go retrieve Caspian and, uh... Does Grave look flustered? Not flustered so much as... More surprised. <laughs> he came in here with a completely different, uh... <laughs> had no idea that y'all were talking about. <laughs> I was talking about death! Just... Death! Uh, death. Okay, there's a lot going on. Right, right. Um, I have a different priority right now. <laughs> so more confusion than anything. <laughs> Got it, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, he yeah. and he'll, oh, actually, actually, he'll just use sending to, mm. to since the three of them were here. Yeah, sir. Um, to um, uh, Caspian, the headmaster wishes to speak to your team all together now. Now, your teammates. That's it. Teammates mm -hmm. is one word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not it. That's just like 10 more words. It's 25. I can't count. <laughs> We're at 14. <laughs> we'll meet you there. <sighs> I, I suppose that the, he's like waiting on his armor. Yeah, probably in house Kaya. Yeah. yeah. He'll just try to uh, whoever's working on his armor. I'll be back for it later. I'm apparently being summoned. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Uh... You all meet up, because from the two towers, it'll probably take about the same amount of time. Mm. And uh, as you arrive at the headmaster's office, um, the door opens on its own. So it's two doors that just open. Very fast. No, uh, no sound, no steam. It doesn't appear to be a mechanism. They just open. Glide. Yeah. yeah. And he's sitting at his desk, which is... Ornate, to say the least. You see, lining the walls, a number of different types of trophies from uh, different monsters. Um, I would like you to make an investigation check. Okay. Investigation. That is a 11. 10. Ten? <laughs> not Minus one. <laughs> Minus one. Yeah. Uh, we not we not intelligent. No. <laughs> we not. Stupid boys. Hey! Hey! Low IQ, low EQ. <laughs> uh, it's true. It's, it's true. absolutely true. <laughs> um, <laughs> we balance each other out. Yep. So we're all stupid. Uh, what's your passive? Uh, it's not gonna be high. No, no my um, passive go is going to be one less. <laughs> Can I help him? Uh, no, but you can. I would say you can roll with advantage. Okay. We'll see if this does any better. Probably not. Good luck. No, it does. Okay. That's, um, 19 minus 1. <laughs> 18. One of the trophies that the headmaster has on 
hanging in his office appears to be a um, severed, uh, I guess, mouth from... Tendril? Yeah. Hmm. From... Uh, what, what Big is it? boy? Yes. What was yeah. the uh, the the typhoon? Virginia. Yes, but there was a Katayos. Katayos. Yes. Yeah. Cass will probably uh, stop dead in his tracks as he sees that. Uh, the headmaster has his mask on, completely inscrutable. Cass, he's are you? Yep. Sorry. Cass will yeah. line up. Okay, just one of the trophies. The headmaster's going to stand, walk around to the front of his desk. So, Grave has told me of your progress. I wanted to call you all here to congratulate you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Not only did you act with Efficiency. You also acted with compassion. You will not always be able to. But when you can. It is good. I wasn't about to create an orphan. Regardless, the four of you have caught my eye. Al, like, tries to look for his eye <laughs> around the mask. Well, I mean, like, the, the mask covers it completely. Yeah. And so, you assume he can see through it. I don't see your eye. Good. Oh. I will be expecting great things from you. Do not disappoint me. Inside check. Yeah, I'm gonna make an insight check as well. Disadvantage, there is no way to read I have a mask. I have advantage on. Yeah, so it's a flat roll. It's a flat roll. That's a natural one, Airy. I wanna give myself advantage uh, with inspiration to make it a flat roll. Yeah. You can't. Technically, inspiration would allow you to re-roll one of the, uh... The lower dice. Oh! It's a natural 20 and a 19. Okay, so with a 19 plus... Uh, 3. 22. 22. What are you, you looking for? Put your inspiration back. <laughs> yeah. Um, Why, is he, you gonna... He, no, he, he, he expended did, did, one did. before you said that it would just be, like... Disadvantage, or it would replace like one. He of rolled two dice. Uh, so, yeah. disadvantage. So he used. He marked it off. It. Didn't use it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, need it. <laughs> didn't, didn't need it. Okay. Didn't need yeah. It. Mm -hmm. so, thank you. you. Still technically yep. rolled with disadvantage. I did. Yeah. The, the amount of of things you've done for me slash cast. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look out here and there. Yep. All right. So <laughs> okay. What what are you looking for? What the heck does he mean by that statement? The tone of voice, the implied, like... It means do his not expectations have been set. <laughs> oh, buddy. You guys have performed very well in the school fights, mm -hmm. despite being a man down. You performed extremely well during your first mission, mm -hmm. despite being a man down. You faced a foe stronger than you should have had to, while a man down, and didn't need the teacher's help. The expectations have been set. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty high bar, bro. That was a high yeah. bar. Get ready for another four and a half years of disappointment. We have made the most crucial mistake of all gifted kids. We <laughs> set the bar too high at the beginning, and now they expect the same level of work from you for forever. It's and true. It's not I possible. <laughs> <coughs> I think it is. I think we can do it. And as he says that, he pauses. You're dismissed. 
Thank you. Girl walks out. Back to sit behind his desk. And I assume you all mm-hmm. file out. I will start to walk out, and then he kind of stops. I have a quick question. Hmm? What is this thing? And he points to the trophy that Castle's looking at. <laughs> I'm going to say to make a retroactive insight check to see if you could tell what Which specifically one? caught Cass's eye. Okay, that'll work. Ooh, insight. Uh, 16. 16? That is a terrible monster that... It's not my story to tell. You didn't kill it. <laughs> Don't think it can be. Interesting. Okay, I played thank a you. Role, though. Do what? I? I played a role. Oh. Is Cass still in the room to hear this? I'd yes. say you probably just walked out enough to still catch it. Okay, Cass would definitely stop and turn and look around. <laughs> <laughs> turn around and look at the. No, I'm very busy. Who's okay, story have a good day. Is it to tell? Not mine. <laughs> as soon as L starts looking at Cat's Cat, she's gonna turn around <laughs> and keep moving. Apologies. Secrets. I see. <laughs> and L walks out. Completely ignoring you at this point. Oh no, that that was yeah. uh, that was L to himself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A little bit of internal dialogue. Yeah. Yes. And as you finally. Finish settling down, you collect your armor, you've done your investigating. I'll go to freaking sleep finally. <laughs> and you can all level up. Oh, oh let's go! I told you! Oh! Yes. It's still not level five, but it's something. <laughs> all right, let's roll HP, and that will be where we call tonight's all session. Right. Right. Okay. <gasps> okay. And opening next session, I'm going to try and What is it? You re roll ones and twos? Re roll ones and twos. Good. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, because that's a one. <laughs> Get a D8. D8. That's, a one. that's another one. Oh my god! Hold on. Wait, wait. Seven. Switch dice. Nice. There we go. <laughs> wait, we can't. No! We can't switch. It's the wrong. Why do you have a D10? <laughs> You're rolling two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Here, here, you take Max. my my D8. There we go. I'll take You'll your take my D10. D10. Manage character and we'll levels. See. I'm above Eight. fifty. Four. I'm gonna roll, use my. Never mind. Oh, that's a two. <laughs> Can I use my inspiration to re-roll the uh, health die? Do yeah, sure. Be... Okay, cool. That was another two. Please give me an eight. That's a powerful... I'll take it. That's a six. That's a powerful inspiration use. Yes, it is. And I just did. <laughs> that's an inspiration that's gonna so help you, you for the rest of the ten. game. Ten. Yep. Seven. Two additional. Seven, points. six, and you said eight. eight. Nice. Nice. Level All right. four. Level four. Level four. Thank you guys very much for joining us. And we will see you next time. Good night.